Hello there, I'm Dr. Purendu Roy. I'm a surgeon in Genesis Hospital, Koshba, Kolkata. Now, but today I'm going to talk about something which is non-surgical. There is something which is causing a lot of fear and phobia all around in West Bengal. Yes, now whenever a person is getting high fever, we are worried whether it is malaria, whether it is dengue, or whether is COVID returning back. So today I'm going to discuss the symptoms and signs that we should look for dengue fever. Dengue is a mosquito-borne illness. Some of the people may have completely asymptomatic and just a very low-grade fever, but other people develop very high fever, like going up to 104 degree Fahrenheit, and they usually get intense headache, they get muscle pain, joint pain, they get pain behind the eye, gland swelling, nausea, vomiting, and sometimes they come with redness of the eye, which many people are now confusing with conjunctivitis, but actually they could be one of the symptoms and signs of dengue fever. Most of the people actually do recover within one week's time without going through any other problem, but some people may develop complications. They develop bleeding rashes, petechial hemorrhages in different areas. And they also develop a thing called dengue shock syndrome. The people who go into a very severe type of dengue fever, their platelet count tends to drop. And once the platelet count drops, the blood vessel tends to leak, hemorrhages takes place, internal organ damage, and sometimes these become fatal and people may die. The National Center for Vector-Borne Diseases Control just stated that between 2022 and 23, West Bengal has shown the highest number of dengue cases, that is, 67,271 cases and 30 deaths. And this is the highest in the country followed by Bihar. The health department officials have stated that from January 2023, there have been already over 3,000 case reports of dengue and already five people have died in hospitals in Kolkata. Now the question is, probably not all cases are being reported. So what is important is one should not ignore a fever. A fever should never be taken as it is just a flu and it will become all right. So once you get fever, that there is a potential chance this could be dengue and you are confusing conjunctivitis and it is actually a sign of hemorrhage in your eye. So once you develop dengue, body ache, muscle ache, please get a blood test done. And the only one risk of dengue is fall of platelet count where the blood vessels tends to leak and hemorrhage occurs. So get a platelet count done. The government has taken very special measure and taken this seriously. And about 9,000 doctors and paramedics have been specially trained to handle and manage these type of situation. About 600 rapid response team has been prepared for mitigation of larva in urban areas. Fishes have been distributed in districts who feed upon the mosquito larva to decrease the mosquito population. So basically even the government and the private hospitals have now being instructed that whenever a fever patient comes, they have to be tested for dengue. There is a special form. Any person getting admitted in hospital with fever, that form has to be filled up and sent for proper documentation and statistical analysis by the health department. I cannot stop talking about the efforts that government has taken on this particular issue of dengue. 129 civic bodies have been formed and 1.32 lakhs worker have been deployed for vector control activities. So what we are basically talking about, don't ignore fever. Don't just say it is just a viral fever and take paracetamol and lie down. And I can't forget that one of my classmates 
few years back developed fever he himself was a doctor we went to school together and he ignored the fever for 2 to 3 days and then by the time he was taken to hospital it was too late and i lost a doctor friend of mine with whom i went to school just because he ignored a fever so the message today that i want to give even as a surgeon as a laparoscopic surgeon whenever anybody gets fever please take it seriously report it get the test done get a platelet count to see whether you have got any signs and possibility of developing hemorrhagic complications of dengue fever so the next question comes what is the treatment uh, unfortunately there is no specific treatment of dengue fever once it is diagnosed for the first 5 days you stay inside mosquito net because you don't want it to spread by vector borne to other people after that you can be at home there is no need for urgent admission in the hospital it can be treated at home drink a lot of fluid drink a lot of water drink fresh fruits and vegetables many people say papaya juice and oranges broccoli whichever vegetables and fruit contains high amount of folate actually tend to increase the platelet count the normal platelet count in human body could be 1.5 lakhs to 4 lakhs now during dengue fever this platelet count goes down and blood doesn't clot and that's the only danger which causes hemorrhagic dengue so the message today is the moment you get fever don't think it is just probably a viral fever check for dengue test and keep an eye on the platelet and see whether it is getting worse come to the hospital for admission and in certain cases where platelet goes very low we do give platelet transfusion and manage the serious cases in the hospital let us not lose anybody from dengue let's all be aware about it because most of the time we lose because we don't act at the correct time if you liked watching this video and found it informative please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel which is dr purnendu roy english and dr purnendu roy bengali and look out for the next video to be released on issues on health education food and beverages we talk about the first health cafe in west bengal ecclesiastes cafe and our charity work which is through gct genesis educational and charitable trust and our entertainment uh, companies orion entertainment so keep watching thank you very much